three signs that your spiritual awakening is actually just an inflation of your ego. Coming in at number three, we've got measuring your success, peace of mind, satisfaction by somebody else's measuring stick. Now, if you don't know what human design is, this is completely foreign to you. But you see these undefined centers, these white centers right here. These are places where this person is going to experience the external world. They're going to experience other people's problems and inspiration, other people's way of thinking about things, other people's voice, other people's direction, the sense of identity. If this person measures themselves by the type of inspiration they have, the way they think, the way they speak, and the direction that they're moving in, they will have completely lost it. Instead of doing that, this person ought to measure themselves by the weight of their will, their spleen, their sacral, their root, and their solar plexus. When centers are colored in on the body graph like this, it means that they're going to be consistent. You can rely on those things. They're also inherent, like they're sourced from inside of you, as opposed to these white centers, which are sourced externally from outside of you. Comparison is the thief of joy. And if you measure your life by other people's standards and not your own, unfortunately, life will always be poo poo caca. Coming in at thing number two, we've got the superiority complex. Just because you're awakened doesn't make you better than anyone else. Just because you know your human design and you use your own measuring stick to judge your life and not somebody else's measuring stick, that doesn't actually make you better than anyone. During your spiritual awakening, it will be necessary to reflect and speak on some of the qualities and connections and relationships that were like not doing it for you. But you gotta ask yourself, are you running away from something or towards something else? The gazelle runs away from the lioness because it doesn't want to be dinner. The lioness chases the gazelle because it needs to feed its family. So are you just trying to survive or do you have something worth living for? If anything, your spiritual process ought to make you more accepting, more loving, and more compassionate of other people, especially people that are not at the same level of awareness as you. Be mindful of when reflection turns into gossip. Just because your neighbor breaks their leg doesn't mean you run any faster. And thing number one, the good old spiritual bypass. Now this couples with thing two and three, but it's unique in its own way because it's really about your own work. Spiritual bypassing happens in a lot of different ways, but here's a couple so you can recognize them. Brother, no bad vibes here. No bad, your energy is very, is very not zen and it's not welcome here, I'm sorry. So this is my sixth medicine retreat this week and instead of going into isolation like my medicine journey told me, I think I'm just gonna go to this festival because my friend offered me a free ticket and that's like the universe telling me that I should go. The mind is a very tricky thing, my friends. However, no amount of trickery will ever actually allow you to grow without doing the work that's necessary. In those two examples I gave in, the first one was an example of not actually meeting confrontation, like just trying to suppress the confrontation or ignore the confrontation by claiming it's bad vibes. And the second one is just overindulgence in the medicine, but not actually integrating any of the lessons. Now, contrary to popular belief, I don't think the universe is like testing us to see if we've actually leveled up. What's more realistically happening is that some of the old paradigms and patterns that we're used to are just resurfacing to say, hey, are you sure you want to destroy us forever? Because we've been doing things and you like the things that we do. To which you ought to be responding, yes, we're deleting that forever and thank you for all that you did, but now there's something else. Maturity is realizing that true education is not just about learning and getting downloads, but actually trashing some of those downloads and learning slash installing new things. Now, it's my personal belief that instead of being focused on downloads, listening to a bunch of podcasts, consuming a bunch of content, like we should actually be more focused on uploading. What am I giving to the world? Not what am I getting? And like I showed you at the beginning of this video, even just learning the basics of human design is so incredibly helpful for your spiritual growth. So often people are getting lost in all the downloads that happen in these undefined centers. Meanwhile, all of their uploads in these defined centers just stay there. They don't actually get uploaded or manifested. Now, harmonizing with your energetic nature is not something that's going to happen overnight. It's not. But something that can happen overnight is you learning your strategy and authority and conducting an experiment to see what happens in your life when you start to live more according to this chart. For the people that want to engage with that, you can generate a body graph on my website for free. There's a $20 decoding of this body graph in the form of a report custom generated for your body graph 
and it will literally tell you all about these numbers, all about these centers, all about your strategy and authority. My goal was to make it so that like you don't have to spend any more money on spiritual stuff for like a year if you get one of these reports. There's also an app, which is where this screenshot comes from, where if you like tapping on things, you can tap to your heart's delight. Everything is tappable and it'll give you information. You can get that for 25% off via the link in my bio and it's the full app. It's not like some kind of like half version. ReikiMarco.com has everything you need to embody your human design and manifest your absolute kinkiest, sweetest, sexiest reality. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.